My name is Stephen McCabe and I'm the Academic Performance Manager um, and it's my job to support the teachers, uh, to encourage an exchange of ideas and um, provide teacher training, teacher development. And I'm Kate Smook, I'm the Academic Manager for the Senior Campus in Street. My day-to-day -day job is managing the teachers and making sure that the students are in the correct classes and the day-to-day -day management of the classes. On well, the first, first day all students do a placement test, uh, it's a written placement test and often also a speaking test. From that test the uh, scores are looked at along with the student's age, nationality and gender and then we try and find the best classes for the students so that we have a mix of nationalities and uh, genders in, in the same class but the ages we, we divide the students up into 11, 12 to 14 year olds and then 14, 15, 16, 17 year olds. At the junior campus, which is for ages 6 to 11, they use a similar structure to the same to the structure that we use. The students have a minimum of 15 hours English tuition per week in the mornings and then some of them would have additional tuition in the afternoon, either by studying for Cambridge exams, uh, preparation for UK schools or study skills, and uh, which would be up to eight hours a week in the afternoons and some of them also do Trinity exams which they study for in club time which would be four, four hours a week maximum. The course for vocabulary organiser is given to every student uh, who attends Millfield uh, School. Hi, I'm Emily. I'm 13 years old and I'm from Germany. This is my diary. I'll write there every day my memories so I won't forget the great time in Millfield. Basically the principle behind this book is that it's an empty book um, and as the students uh, progress through their course they fill it in. So they're filling gaps in their knowledge. The book helps me to learn like the most useful thing I think it's the mini dictionary because there I can write down all the words I don't understand and the translation and every time it's been used in the lessons I can look at them. Every Saturday afternoon students go on an excursion. In the initial weeks of course when there are large numbers of students sometimes the, the younger students will go to one venue and the older students will go to a different venue um, and they go with their class whereas on the Wednesday excursion they go with their house. Before they go, the teachers will have a lesson based on the excursion. We always have some materials for the teachers to use so that the students know what they're going to do. Uh, the students have two teachers um, throughout the course in the mornings. They have um, two hours with one teacher, then they um, swap and have another teacher for the final hour. The reasoning behind this is um, um, because different teachers have different teaching styles and different students have different learning styles. Um, it provides uh, variety. The students are exposed to different accents. Um, and generally speaking, we think it's, it's much better than the students having three hours as one teacher. So in the afternoons, there are optional English extras for the students to uh, follow. The first main one is Cambridge exams, and the students can actually choose to take either PET FCE or CAE while they're here on the campus and we, they would have already done preparation at home and they learn the exam technique here and then they take the exams usually in week three or week four. Uh, there are also two other afternoon options of preparation for UK schools which is useful for older students who are thinking about studying in the UK maybe to do A-levels and that's they are taught English uh, through content, so they learn how a subject is taught in the main, main school. And then the other thing we offer is study skills, that's for slightly younger students at the moment, and that's really, as it says, to help them learn how best to study, and again, the skills are taught through English. 
and the final option is Trinity exams and we run those in week three and week six. They're speaking exams and students are entered for a particular grade, they prepare a little presentation and if they're at a higher level they also might have to do some additional tasks and those exams they take and they usually get the results before they leave but we, almost immediately. The junior campus also does Trinity exams um, but they don't do Cambridge exams um, or preparation for UK schools or study skills because the students are that much younger. The aim is that the students will have improved their level of English and feel more confident in using, using English in general interaction. They're usually much more confident in speaking to, to different people and be exposed to lots of different accents, not just native speaker accents, but also English from other countries. And of course, to make lots of new friends.